Hello guys, Silver Butterflies here. Today I will review three perfumes from Pentelegance and I'm so happy uh, I grabbed these uh, samples because it's a lot of thoughts. First one is Levantium, part of Pentelegance Trade Routes collection. Levantium is an opulent and evocative wood. Uh, head notes of saffron, absinthe, davana give way for an exotic floral hearts and resinous base of oats, wood, vanilla and amber. When I was reading this explanation, I was thinking it's going to be too dark, too woody and too scary for me. I sprayed it, started doing a review, started to do a review and all of a sudden I realized it started layering. And the layers became so softer, 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 and start getting more uh, uplifted. Levantium or the toilet. Perfumers established 1870 Pentagons. I have a very good impression of this one. It's very summery. Uh, and it's just right now, even if it's very, very hot outside, it's like 29 Celsius. Uh, but I still would wear it without any doubt. Uh, it's not gonna be heavy. It's very lovely perfume and I think it's all over the year. This, uh, the sillage is divine here. It's very uh, soft and more um, higher than like very woody and dark version. So I'm very happy I have this one. It says here warm spicy wood old aromatic rose and flora that's what happened in the beginning when i sprayed it was warm woody and wood and then it became so more rosy and at the end of the story i thought it's like a lily of the valley or something light there which is not explainable there and the perfumer is christian Provenzano. Top notes are bergamot, artemisia, saffron, and wormwood. Middle notes are rose, jasmine, violet, that's what is jasmine, uh, cloves, cardamom, and elan, elan peach base. Uh, base notes are amber, myrrh, gayak wood, uh, sandalwood, cedar, agarwood, and patchouli, musk and vanilla. Uh, this is very rich pyramid I don't feel it as much but I like it uh, it's probably uh, give it a time it's like one hour you smell with that and then uh, in an hour you smell more jasmine -y, and then later down the road you're gonna smell a little woodsy part on the base the second one is uncompromising Sohan the merchant of Alexandria ambitious and astute Sohan has worked diligently uh, with flair to establish himself in a world of troublesome affairs. Uh, visionary, some would say, right time, right place, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Don't mention the Suez Canal. Uh, his business relationships have almost naturally turned into amicable ties. Lord George and Lady Blanche are always thrilled to welcome well-traveled guests. A master key can open many doors. See, this is like relationship between three of them. And why he is uncompromising Sohan, I don't know. The thing is, uh, I have to re read you the notes, but before I spread it here on my pinky, and in the beginning, uh, I felt it's very aggressive uh, for women, but it's very good for men. Um, we'll see. So what is uncompromising Sohan with this little bird there on the top? It's woody. Uh, of course, I was interrupted by the phone call. Uh, I thought it's very important phone call. And now I totally forgot what I was talking about. But get back to the explanation. Uh, this is here, a tonka beans and rose. Created in 2017. Top notes are rose, pink pepper, saffron. Uh, middle notes are labdanum and uh, vetiver. 
and base notes is uh, lab uh, labdanum, uh, sorry, uh, laotian out, laotian wood, and uh, sandalwood. Uh, overall, it's very manly perfume. Uh, it says here for women and men, or just for men. Uh, I would be scared to wear it uh, compared to this one. This one is so good, uh, good for women, maybe good for men, but depends what kind of men. But this one is really good for men. And here we go to Terrible Teddy. The liquid here is like a purplish uh, brown and I sprayed it here. I call this kind of notes, uh, you know, in Russia, uh, we used to have this uh, Russian sauna when it's like a, a little wooden uh, house or maybe it can be a big wooden house and there is the, uh, uh, you know, you, you have to smash the water on, on the stones, on a very hot stones that gives you the steam. And since the building is made of woods, when it's all mingles with each other, it, it gives this unexplainable, very good smell. That's what is called a Russian sauna, but it's just my imagination. Uh, here, I just read you a little bit. Uh, hunters understand all about the thrill of the chase, and love is prized to win with aplomb. Like all true professionals, Teddy has sharp eye, a keen wit, and detached attitude. But Helen, damn her, seems to understand this only too well. Could Teddy at last have met his match? If I can have, have her, I don't want her. If I cannot have her, well, let's see. This kind of person is that terrible Teddy. So like uh, the series of the portraits of Hunter Hunted. So, uh, this is unique, unusual. Um, I call it Russian sauna, but it's not Russian sauna at all. It's like, in my imagination, it's just memories from uh, childhood. It's ambery, uh, leathery, smoky, musky, and balsamic, and belongs to leather uh, perfumes. Created in 2019, by the way, it's the most freshest one. And the notes behind it fragrance is Quentin Bish. Top notes are incense, middle notes are leather, and base note Ambrox Sun. Hmm. That's why. It's very modern perfume. It's very unusual perfume. It's like up-to-date perfume. Uh, this one. It's very lovely and sexy perfume. It's like uh, very uh, light and on the same time very distinct. And this is <laughs> uncompromising Sohan. Well, it's just not for the fainted of heart. Uh, all of them are good in its own right. I'm very happy I have this uh, samples to try. And you, if you live around uh, those stores, go have a look. Uh, maybe you find something else, uh, something different for your collection. Until now, I'm your silver butterfly. All the best guys. Bye for now.